Hello everybody and welcome to my third tutorial on Microsoft Access Queries and this tutorial is going to how show you how to create a query that runs off of another query um, so this can be really useful sometimes um, if you've got quite a complex query that, that you, you need quite a few different variances of um, so you can set up the, the kind of main bulk of the query uh, and then just set up the other queries to run off of the main bulk of it um, so that you can save a lot of time um, and also if you need to make changes you can make them just in the main bulky query uh, and then it will kind of represent through all of the others um, so if I just show you this now so let's click on new and create a new query in design view and then here when it says show table click on queries and you'll get a list of all the queries that you can um, add in and reference um, or if you click on both you can see everything so I'm just going to add in uh, customer currency uh, and then I'm also going to add in sales um, so let's drop this down and see what we've got and so we've got uh, currency, customer name, customer ID and then the details for for all the sales um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, and I'm going to need another table actually so let's just go back into here and go to show table and um, we want the customers table and so here we want to just link in customer name to customer name and so that will link across and we can get the currency for each customer um, and then over here we're just going to essentially recreate the sales table by adding them all in um, if you want a quick way of doing this, and you might be wondering why this is here, if you click on uh, star, then it's going to add in all of the, the information for that table. Um, and it's just going to, it will show up a sales star here, um, but when we run it, it will have all of the fields. Um, and then we also want the currency as well from the query. Uh, and then we'll run this. Um, you'll notice that it's pulled through properly we've got all of our uh, fields from the sales table and then we've also got for for that sale what the currency was um, and so let's just explain what it's doing here so it's adding in all of our sales information it's then taking our customer ID and finding out the customer name from, from the customers table. So then with the customer name referencing our query uh, customer-currency that we, we created in the last tutorial and going okay for that customer name what is the currency. And you can reference as many queries as like. You can have any combination. You can have two tables, four queries or whatever. Uh, and the queries just referencing them works exactly the same way as referencing the table uh, you just got to make sure that you put your your joins in properly uh, so that's it for this tutorial uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and uh, the next tutorial is going to show you how to apply criteria to your your table so uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial